Hello everyone, this is Akshay. I hope you are doing well. So today we are going to make a half adder. So let's see what a half adder looks like. Go to the half, uh, go to Google and type half adder, and here, let's see. It is a logical circuit that performs an addition operation on two binary digits. The half adder produces a sum and a carry as an output. So we here we are seeing these two inputs are there and there is a XOR IC and an and a gate IC. What we need to do is now go to the Google and type tinkercad.com. Select the first link and you'll land to this page. On this page you'll be seeing 3D designs, circuits, code blocks, and lessons. Click on circuits and then create a new circuit. Now, when you are on this page, go to this area and name your file as half adder. It becomes easier to find when you have uh, so many circuits. Perfect. Now, on this page, you can see code. When you're using Arduino or something, uh, you require a code. So you can copy paste the code from here while you are making the circuit. It becomes a little easier for you. Here's a start simulating option. Export is there and saves there. Now components, select the basic components because we don't need any complex ones. Select a breadboard, simply drag it and drop it to the position you want. Now a breadboard is a construction base for prototyping of electronic circuits. The vertical columns here are called as terminals while the horizontal rows are called as the power rails. Now the terminals are connected to each other and the power rails are interconnected now for the power supply we need power type power in the search bar and uh, select this power supply and paste it here now what we need to do is select the positive of the battery and connect it to the positive of the breadboard select the negative of the battery and connect it to the negative of the breadboard Similarly here, connect the positive terminal to the positive and the negative to the negative. Now we are ready to start implementing our circuit. Now let's see what we need. We need XOR IC and AND gate IC. Let's type 7486 that is the XOR IC. Now again you need to what to do, uh, you need to do is drag it or select it and drop it here similarly select uh, and get IC the number is 7408 select it and paste it over here now what we need to do is make this connection the power of this IC to the positive of the breadboard Basically, we are making the VCC 1 and we will be connecting the ground. This is the ground as 0. Similarly, with this IC also, connect this to 1 and connect the ground to the negative. Perfect. We are ready now. Now, let's see what we need to do next. The first input is A and the second input is B. Moving on to the circuit giving the first input as 0 and the second input as 1 you can always see it says input 1 and input b uh, input 1 1 b so now similarly let's do this also as 1 and this also as 1 so now we have done this thing we have given two inputs to the xor gate and two inputs to the and gate now the output goes as sum and the AND gate output goes as carry. For the output we need an LED to see what the output is coming. If the LED glows, we have done it right. If the LED doesn't close, we have done something wrong. Now simply select an LED and place it here. Now for the LED cannot be connected to the wire, we need a resistance. Select a resistor. Rotate it by pressing R on your keyboard and paste it here. Rotate this LED also and connect the anode 
to the terminal of the resistance and now what you can do is the output of this XOR gate is connected to this resistor and now connect the cathode to the negative of the breadboard the positive is connected to the resistance and the negative is connected to the breadboard or to the battery similarly we are going to do again for this particular IC that is the AND gate IC rotate it place it select LED rotate this also and place it now connect the cathode to the negative terminal and this thing to here to the output of this so now we have successfully completed it we have give uh, we have given two inputs to this uh, XOR gate and two inputs to this AND gate see here now let's see this is the first input this is the second input we have give we are giving zero as the first input and we are giving first one as the second input the output is going to the resistor that is connected to this uh, um, led to the anode of this led and the cathode is connected to the negative terminal of the battery similarly here also we are giving one as an input first input and one as the second input the output is going to the resistance resistor that is connected to the anode of the uh, LED and the cathode is being connected to the negative of the power supply so now that we have made our circuit it's time to start the simulation and see if we are right or wrong click on this button called start simulation and yes you can see both the LEDs are glowing perfectly that means a circuit is correct here on the battery you can see there's a voltage of 5 volt and there's a current of 6 milliampere that is the voltage and current for this particular circuit that we have made now let's stop the simulation so congratulations now uh, on making your first circuit on Tinkercad if you want more such videos comment it down and I would feel happy to help you guys if you like this video share it with your friends thank you so much for watching this video uh, we'll surely meet again with a new fresh video um, till then thank you so much take care bye bye